Hey guys, it's Justin. And in today's video, we're gonna discuss breakups and getting over your ex-girlfriend. So actually about a year ago, I went through a really bad breakup, about a year and a half ago. And this breakup honestly left me absolutely fucking traumatized. I, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't eat. Uh, I would come home every single day and cry. I would actually go out to nightclubs, make out with a bunch of girls, party, pull girls home, and come home and cry with my mom. I would literally cry, break down crying with my mom. And it was just such a bad fucking time in my life. And we didn't enough. I was going out every day. My finances were great. My health was great. Everything was good. I didn't even drink at the time. So like my mental health was very clear. But having someone I was so close to leaving my life permanently was just so fucking traumatic. It was absolutely fucking traumatic. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you what I personally did to overcome this stuff. Now this past weekend, I think I had about six girls suck my dick. And uh, you know, this isn't something that usually happens for most people. It's not, it's, it's not how, it's not a regular kind of lifestyle. I was able to actually push through my emotions very, very effectively to overcome my past demons and become an incredible person uh, when a lot of people, when they go through breakups, one of my close friends actually, uh, he became an alcoholic after a breakup. He broke up with a girl he really loved and he literally developed a drinking problem and uh, he's just not in a great place. And uh, obviously because of that, I've had to distance myself from him. Versus imagine where you can go if you overcome that breakup and you go to the next level. You can go to levels you never reached. I personally believe that breakups and ending relationships is kind of uh, one door closing, but another one opening, where you can actually learn how to deal with really negative emotions. Instead of fucking all this bullshit negative emotions, you find solutions to your problems and have a better time in life. So I'll give you a few tips on personally how I was able to overcome my breakups. Number one, spending lots of time with friends. I spent Massive amount of times with friends and family, actually. And spending time with my little brother, spending time with my mom, and uh, going out with close friends, just being there, being out, not even trying to get girls or any of that, just spending time with good friends who are there to love and support me, and people who care about me. That's really one way I was able to make up that like lack of love that I, I was missing from an ex-girlfriend. I was able to make that up through friendships and connections. And that actually allowed me to, instead of sitting in my room crying all the time, get out of my room and uh, actually socialize and get closer with people and learn how to socialize again and be normal. And soon enough, I ended up dating hotter girls uh, than my ex-girlfriend. I ended up having some like really even stronger connections. So it was, it was really an opportunity in disguise where it's like I can use this emotional leverage to leverage myself. Uh, another way, number two, is go out every single day and use that burning desire, that passionate energy, although it's sad energy, use it to fuel you to meet more girls. You obviously, you know what, like there's no replacing your ex-girlfriend. That's just how it is, you can't replace her and you'll never ever have another connection like her again. Simply put, you will never meet a girl like her again, you'll never have the exact same relationship again. But what you can do is create new relationships, create entirely new relationships uh, that are new experiences with new people and uh, love someone else in a different way. It won't be the same as your ex-girlfriend, but it'll be completely different. And eventually, if you spend time with new girls, it'll be better. It'll be something you prefer as time goes on. Okay, so that's another way. Go out all, every single day. That's what I personally did. And actually right now, I'm on day 500. Uh, funny enough, it was March 2016 where I went through this breakup and I've gone out literally every single day to talk to people, socialize, meet girls. And I've been with a lot of girls since. I dated a lot of much more beautiful girls, models. Right now I'm seeing the gymnastics teacher. She's actually on the way here to come see me right now uh, so we can spend an evening together. And uh, just, you know what, there's so much opportunity out there and when I say opportunity, I mean beautiful women. And if you actually put yourself out of your comfort zone to go out and meet these women, you will meet a girl much better than your ex-girlfriend, okay? Number three, cut off all contact. So when I actually went through a breakup, uh, and usually every breakup I go through, I cut off all contact. If you have an emotional connection to someone and you wanna get over that ex and stop thinking about them and move forward through life, you have to cut off all contact and block on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, phone number. Cut off all contact and even to take a step further, anybody you guys are friends with in common, you can cut them off too. When I actually went through this really rough breakup a year and a half ago, I literally anybody, anybody who was even remotely in contact with my ex, I cut out of my life. 
I don't care who they were or how close friends I was with them, every single person who wanted to stay friends with my ex-girlfriend, I cut out of my life. Delete from Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. I literally just re was able to recreate an entire social circle and figure out who's really there for me and who's my friend. Okay, and uh, not to say that these people can't be both friends with you and an ex, that's just a very extreme example of how you can do it. And in fact, even you can be friends with your ex-girlfriend or boyfriend, uh, really, like, you can, you can do that. You can be friends with an ex, but after you're over them. You need to cut off contact with them for a set period of time until both of you are over each other, and then you can be friends, right? And actually, I'm on great terms with most of my exes. If I, um, I mean, even if you look at a lot of my old videos, you'll see I've dated many different girls and you'll see them occurring uh, in other videos at parties or at uh, just like events or just hanging out and it's because we're friends and uh, I maintain those relationships, right? I an ex-girlfriend in Australia, I'm still friends with her. I'm still friends with all the girls I would see in Australia. I'm still friends with um, girls I would see before. I love to Australia and uh, they usually stay in your life and they do make amazing friendships, uh, but it does mean you need to cut them off while you're emotionally invested in them. You need to block contact, no contact, if you want to get over them, specifically so that you can grow away from them. Okay? You need to get, put yourself in a position where you can be you and not have to even hear their name or think about them or be even related to them uh, in any way. All right? I hope that makes sense to you guys. No contact. It will massively benefit you. Okay. Number four. Time is your ally. So I understand it fucking hurts if you're going through a breakup right now and you're watching this video, you're probably like, you know what, this is good advice, but I don't know if it's, if it's gonna work for me. It will work, I promise you. Uh, like, you have a lot of dark thoughts and insecurity behind this breakup, that's, that's great, that's cool, it's normal. Uh, and it is what will allow you to overcome uh, these challenges and get over your ex. So you have to realize that time is your ally, time is on your side, and the more time that passes, as long as you're doing things to push yourself forward, the faster you will get over your ex-girlfriend. But you do need to wait it out, time, which means go out every day, talk to other girls, right? Spend time with friends, uh, do all these things that you should do during your breakup, such as meeting new people, getting new hobbies, living your life and continuing moving forward with your life, whether that be uh, fucking going back to school or, working, putting your life into your career, whatever it is, uh, just fucking do it. And remember, time is your ally, and eventually you will learn to cope with uh, not having that person around, and eventually it'll be normal. It'll be the default where it's, it's almost like if you were to bump into them or see them, it would be like seeing a dead person, and it, it wouldn't even matter to you. It'd just be like seeing someone from the past. It's not a big deal anymore. And the more time that passes, the more normal it is, the more this present reality is the norm. Okay, and which is even more interesting, where the breakups going forward will even be easier for you when you get in further relationships and you break up with them, because you will, uh, it'll be easier for you. And more so than that, all of this, that, all this stuff you learn from the past relationship kind of carries over. So all the good stuff carries over the f new relationships. So your new relationships will be more compatible, more compassionate, the sex will be better. Uh, the, the, honestly, the chemistry will be better. And if you do end up breaking up with that person, it won't be a big deal. It won't be as big of a deal. And uh, you'll be able to get over it really quickly, uh, much quicker than your past breakups. Uh, and time is just fully on your side. And the fifth is take responsibility for your actions. Obviously, it takes two to tango, and there's a reason you and your girlfriend broke up. So take responsibility for your actions and realize that it's all your fucking fault. And you know what? You have to realize that if you were a perfect person in a perfect world, there would be no breakup and it wouldn't be a shitty situation. But clearly, there is a breakup. If, I'm assuming if you're watching this video, there's a breakup or, I mean, you'll, you'll have a breakup if you're watching this video, if you end up in a relationship, eventually you're probably gonna go through a breakup. Everyone does in their life. And you have to sit yourself down and realize where you fucked up and where you went wrong so you don't carry over these negativities into the future relationships. You wanna make sure you understand where you can improve. And if, if you can actually do that, take responsibility for yourself, you will actually get over the person much quicker. If you can sit yourself down and say, hey, this is where I fucked up, this is my fault, you will actually be able to just really move forward with your life a lot faster. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you kind of 
get over your ex-girlfriend uh, if that is what's going on. And if not, I hope you come back to this video in the future when you do come out of a bad breakup because this content is actually very truthful and this is the stuff that will help you get over a partner uh, or a beautiful girl that you did love. Now, I just want to remind you guys that Natural Transformations, our online video program, is coming out to you guys on August 25th. So make sure you're subscribed to Let's Get Girls as we will be announcing a lot more further to the release of this program. And on August 25th, make sure you check our YouTube channel and you will have Natural Transformations released to you guys on Udemy. I hope you're excited for it. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna change your life, okay? Make sure you subscribe, like this video, and thank you for watching.